pulled a low bed today. No haul equipment up into a snowstorm. And yesterday afternoon, it was clear blue sky, Sunday day t-shirt weather, and we're like, should we pull the wrecker body off? They're like, no, we'll do it in the morning in case I get a call tonight. Well, I didn't get a call last night, and now it's raining, so we gotta pull it off in the rain instead. You know, if this thing did come off so easy, I wouldn't have to pull it off so much, because I'd just say no to this stuff. That's true. Everything's good up on that side. Perfect. Okay, we're good. Okay. Ready to roll? Yep, I'll follow you there. Let's go. Aren't new trucks so much fun? You get 10 minutes down the road and it needs to do a regen. So now we sit on the side of the road, overheating the engine and burning a whole bunch of diesel for no reason at all. And we're gonna be late to go pick up our load. Well, at least the truck had other plans. Oh well. Alright, tell the people what you're doing, Casey. So since we're waiting here, we're adjusting the brakes on the trailer. I adjusted them. Uh, I've used it one time since I adjusted them last. But we're sitting here, so why not adjust them? So. I should probably explain how you adjust brakes on a trailer. I have no idea. So. Okay, so let me back this one off. We're backed off. So this is the slack adjuster. And there's this locking collar right here that slides back out over the, the bolt and locks it in place. So you put your wrench on and you push that locking collar in to release it. And now you tighten until the pads touch the drum. Let me get up there so I can show you. You're not gonna see. No. On this one, you won't be able to see. Gotcha. And then, and then once you got the pads against the drum, you back off a quarter turn, and then you move this a little bit until that locking ring comes back out and locks in place. Now that brake's adjusted. I wish everything was that easy.
a little wet out. Yeah. Not as bad as it was this morning. No, not nearly. I had a nice 45 minute nap. Sleeper came in handy. Yeah. And I don't think I want to own a new emissions truck without a sleeper. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, you say so. Somebody's thinking. I think so. Yeah. These things have three steering modes. Yeah. They can either steer front or front and rear opposite at the same time. They can crab steer where they go side to side where they turn the same direction or it's front steer only. And they're not like tied together in any way. So if you turn the front end part way, then go into four wheel steer mode, it's always off a little bit. So when you go to put them on trailers and you get it straight, sometimes you gotta put it into one mode turn the wheels until the back one gets where you want it, then go back to front steer mode, put the front back to line up with it, and then put it back into four wheel mode. That's wild. Yeah. I've never driven one of these before, so. Yeah, so you gotta flip back and forth between the modes sometimes to get them to line up straight on a trailer, because 
the front and rear aren't synced in any way other than you doing it by flipping back and forth in the modes. Doesn't fit? No, it doesn't fit. Oh. This well, but it's too small. This well. No. This one, you go like yeah, that. Now, do I have two of those? Uh, you should. The other one's in the other box. This is the important end to do a good job on because if I have to slam on the brakes, this is the end that stops it from going in the cab. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. My truck does not have enough power to throw it off this end of the trailer, but it has enough brakes to send it that way. Especially since we disadjusted them. Yes. During our forced break time back there. Yes. Our government mandated uh, nap time. <laughs> yeah, government mandated nap time. That was. I gotta grab hours real quick. I forgot. Slacker. Please and thank you. Thank you, sir. Have fun. Will well, do. Of course. Glad it's you and not me. <laughs> no, no. Hey, let me clarify. This is Nick. Nick is a low bed driver for these guys, but Nick doesn't want to go play in the snow. I got a broke down truck. Get That's his story. excuse. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Oh yeah, delivery up to the ski resort, the snowstorm. Well, my truck's down. Yep. We're broke down. <laughs> seems con <laughs> seems convenient to me. Absolutely. Thanks, Casey. I told him it would be more fun if he just tried it anyway, and then I went up with the wrecker and drug him up the hill if he didn't make it. Well, then you'd be doing it anyways, Casey. It doesn't matter. But he, uh, he didn't want to do that. You know, to be quite fair, I, I don't blame him. Well, you don't want to haul pieces of equipment through the snowstorm? Well, Casey, I don't have a CDL. Exactly, so you can't get in trouble for doing it wrong, because you don't know what wrong is. That's, that's fair. The fear is, it's been explained to me by a DOT officer, if someone were to jump onto your trailer at a stoplight and start the machine and raise the boom in the air, then you could hit power lines and poles and bridges and, and things. So, put a chain on them. Uh, I tried explaining to him that this boom has more lifting power than this chain does. So, if that happened, it'd just break the chain and still go up anyway. But nope, that's the rule. So has to be lowered to the deck of the trailer and secured. Okay, ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's go. Okay. So the roads up here are pretty nasty, but overall not the worst they could have been for today's situation. But we'll see what Casey has to say about it. Man, I can't believe Nick didn't want to come up here. Weather's great, roads are clear, Friendly people everywhere. Trucks shining. Look, they're all impressed. It's a great day up on the mountain, man. You're missing out. So how'd you like my little FU to that Subaru that tried passing the whole line of traffic behind the plow? Yeah, that was pretty good. I wasn't recording, but... If, if you're watching this and you see a line of traffic and there's a truck and there's a good space in front of that truck, it is there for a reason. So we're on this type of road and I'm leaving that space so I have room to stop if I need to. So I'm not going to let you cut in front of me and cut me off and take my space. I'm going to put you in the snowbank. We're pirating footage right now. As soon as they saw the camera, they flipped out, chewed our asses, told us we couldn't do that. So nobody's looking.
I need a bigger driveway. That's what I need. I think you need less trees. Yeah, less trees, a bigger driveway, a shop that I can fit a truck in, or multiple. Well, I stop at just one truck, Casey. Because shops are expensive. True. That's why. I will say your uh, your backing up abilities always amaze me. I had to pull forward 15 times. What are you talking about? Yeah, you... Sh shut up. <laughs> Even just backing in here, I had to pull back up. That's fine. I missed that I couldn't too. do this. I couldn't do this at all. I'm terrible at backing things up, Casey. Oh. This thing is... This. Ooh, yummy. So, what I want to do... Since the Zach lift is off of it at the moment, that means we have access to all the frame rails and all that stuff. So I'm going to ditch this trailer, pull back over there now that my well is fixed and we have water. Um, I'm going to hose out all those frame rails and the top side of all the stuff really good. And then I have one of those little traveling sprinklers, the tractors that spin around and go and follow the hose. I'm going to run that under the truck and I'm going to let that thing just go underneath and just rinse the whole bottom side of that to clean it out. So that is what we're going to do now. That's the end of this video, and we will see you guys next time.